Paclitaxel is a chemotherapy agent that is used to treat several different types of cancer. In this mnemonic video, I will teach you an easy way to remember everything you need to know about Paclitaxel. Let's jump right in. For this mnemonic video, we're heading to the messy bedroom of a middle-aged gamer. This particular gamer has been playing Pac-Man as a way to avoid filing his taxes. You can use the combination of Pac-Man and taxes to remember the drug Paclitaxel. You know, since Paclitaxel sounds like a combination of Pac-Man and taxes. <laughs> Let's start by talking about when Paclitaxel is used. The man's new girlfriend has decided to surprise him at his apartment with a plate of crab for dinner. Here at Pixarize, we use a crab to symbolize cancer. You know, since the zodiac sign for cancer is a crab, it's the cancer crab. Paclitaxel is a chemotherapy drug, meaning it is used to treat various types of cancer. Next, let's talk about exactly how Paclitaxel works. This is the first time the girlfriend has been in the man's apartment, and now she realizes he probably kept her out for a reason. The apartment is a huge mess, and there are empty toilet paper and paper towel tubes all over the floor. They've obviously been there a while, since these tubes are ruined and ripped. These broken tubes can remind you that Paclitaxel is an antimicrotubule. Broken tubes for antimicrotubule. Get it? Paclitaxel works by inhibiting the function of microtubules, which are a part of the cytoskeleton that allows for cell division. In this way, Paclitaxel stops rapidly dividing cells, which is how it treats cancer. Unfortunately, Paclitaxel, like most chemotherapy drugs, can't distinguish fast-dividing cancer cells from fast-dividing normal cells, so some nasty side effects can occur. Let's move on to talk about what these are. Along with ruined toilet paper tubes, there are old chicken bones from the man's past meals strewn all over the floor. Yeah, that's pretty gross. These broken, empty, hollow bones are here to remind you of bone marrow suppression, a common side effect of chemotherapy drugs like paclitaxel. You see, the bone marrow is responsible for creating blood cells, like red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. As you can imagine, the cells in the bone marrow divide at a pretty fast rate to produce all of these cells. Therefore, it should make sense that the bone marrow can be damaged by drugs like paclitaxel. This can cause anemia by reducing red blood cells, infections by reducing white bloods, and bleeding by reducing platelets. Next, the girlfriend can't believe this mess in his room. And not just the mess, but the smell. Old toilet paper tubes, leftover bones, combined with who knows what else. It is making her feel really nauseous, and she looks like she's about to vomit. This reminds me, another common side effect of chemotherapies like paclitaxel is GI upset, especially nausea and vomiting. You see, the gut is lined by rapidly dividing cells, so paclitaxel can damage the GI tract to cause these symptoms. Okay, with the generic chemotherapy side effects out of the way, let's talk about a few side effects that are more specific to paclitaxel. The girlfriend obviously hasn't been with this man very long, with this being the first time in his apartment. She hasn't yet learned that he's allergic to crab. Just being in the vicinity of crab has caused the man to have an allergic reaction, with a swollen red face. When you think of the Pac-Man gamer having an allergic reaction, remember that paclitaxel can cause allergy or hypersensitivity reactions. In fact, this is a black box warning, so you know it can cause a serious safety hazard. Patients taking paclitaxel are usually pre-medicated with a steroid, antihistamine, and H2 blocker to prevent a severe allergic reaction. Next, it looks like this guy won't be able to procrastinate on his taxes any longer. His Pac-Man machine just broke. Take a look at the frayed sparking wire coming from the Pac-Man machine. That reminds me, we use a frayed sparking wire as our symbol for neuropathy because nerves are kind of like wires, right? So frayed wires can remind you of damaged nerves. Paclitaxel can cause peripheral neuropathy which often manifests as numbness or tingling in the extremities. Just remember this frayed wire to remember peripheral neuropathy as a side effect of paclitaxel. Okay, I can't wait to get out of this mess. Before we head out, let's summarize what we've talked about in this video. Paclitaxel is a chemotherapy drug used to treat various types of cancer. 
Specifically, paclitaxel works by inhibiting the function of microtubules, stopping cell division. Paclitaxel causes the standard chemotherapy side effects like bone marrow suppression and GI upset. However, more specific side effects of paclitaxel include allergy or hypersensitivity, as well as peripheral neuropathy. As fun as it sounds to stick around and help this guy clean his room and do taxes, I think I'm going to bounce. See you in the next. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.